Hi guys, it's me Keith Johnson. Today we're back with another video and today we're gonna to talk about the Baddies Midwest premiere. So we're gonna talk about episode one and episode two for today's video. Um, I have my tablet right over here. So I got some handy dandy notes that I took like to kind of like walk me through with this and put this over to the side. So you guys see me like glancing over it. I'm like looking at the tablet. Um, anyway, so yeah, let's get right into it. We're back with another season and we just finished um, Caribbean and East and the Caribbean was, um, you know, but so we get the opening fight. We get Tommy Lee and this pow pow. I'm sorry, y'all, but Tommy Loki hates. Like, I just cannot take her serious. So I see, like, the the um, the little BB is <laughs> just there. <laughs> like, it's not funny, but like, a time it was just so it was just so Tommy. Like, if you guys have seen Tommy for the longest. It's so timey. And disclaimer, um, before I really get into this, so this I'm talking about the characters in the show. I don't know any of these girls personally. Um, this is just, you know, what they give us on the show. And it's just reality TV y'all. So, you know. And I kinda of just woke up like an hour or two ago and I'm not taking these Halloween bees out yet. Um, I still have men. And yeah, so getting started in the episode. I think all the girls ate in their confessions. Oh, the fights. We had more opening fights. We had um uh, they showed us well, Tzatziki and Bad Dolly. Um, oof. They also showed us Jayla and Ivory. Um, that fight was, you know, I feel like that fight was a little weak. It, just, you know, it was weak. Like, I just don't know what was going on here. I was like, you know, it's like it's like y'all punching in slow motion. <laughs> you got like Jayla, like Ivory swinging. You got like Jayla, like she like blocking like the hits like with her arm and swinging like with the other side. But Jayla was missing out her hits, and then Ivory was just swinging out so slow. And then, um, it was a lot going on in that little fight. Um, Biggie and Jaden Alexis. I'm like, Jaden, I know you're not gonna let Biggie beat you, girl, because why is you on that ground swimming? I was shook it. Um, yeah, let's get to look. So, I think Rolly was my favorite, like, opening confessional look. She had, like, the, the, the brown wig with, with the red kind of fur. I, that was the best I've seen Rolly look. Rolly looked good with her confessional looks. Like right? it was, she was eating down. Um, Scotty, her Scotty's first look was serving. Her first confessional look was serving. The second one, I don't know what we was going for with 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 the wig. I, I don't know what we was going for. Like I was just. You know, Scotty is also my North Carolinian girl. She's my fellow North Carolina, so I'm going to stand by Scotty. Scotty can do no wrong to me. She's from my state, so I'm going to stand by her. But I was like, you know, you're, you're very pretty, but, like, I just don't know. Um, Jayla, I really like Jayla's, like, the 8-mile shirt. Well, like, the, it was, like, the 8-mile whatever, because she, like, she was going to Detroit. And she was, like, trying to, like, rep, like, rep the city. You guys know about Detroit. Um, 8 Mile is, like, a popular, um road in detroit i don't know too much about eight mile but i do know like eight miles separates like the hood and the suburban the good side so um and also if you guys watched pawns i think it was pawn stories it was one of, it was one of them pawn shows back in the day they used to be on eight mile road i forgot the name of it they had um the white dude i think his name was seth the girl i think it was ashley and the older white dude i, I don't if you guys know you know but that's they was on eight mile road he's talking about it a lot um we're back to the slideshow intro. We're back to the slideshow. Who is... Why? Like, you got Dawson's Cabaret. Her introduction is eating with the Damalo. Damalo. Like, that's eating. And then, like, Baddies West and South were very good intros. But, like, they just... It's slideshow. Can we stop the slideshow? Please. Like, I'm tired of the presentation. I watched that one time. The next episode, I just skipped through it. Oh, and this is going to have both episodes kind of combined. But the first episode to me, I have more notes down. The second episode is going to be the like, right through it. Um, yeah, Natalie confession looks good with the red. I think like it was like, the red. And, she had like I think like some um, some crosses. Like Natalie's confession looked real real good. Um, Siki, she also looked good in her confession. I think every, I think everybody looked good in her confession. Look. Like like the opening confessional look. The OGs bought it down. Like they all looked good. Um, I see Biggie. I said Biggie was D riding Tzatziki. Like Biggie, she stayed D riding Tzatziki. I don't like Biggie's character in the show. I just never really cared for her since Baddies West. Um, Biggie's just D riding Tzatziki so much. 
and Tasiki's not your friend, girl. I like I just I, I just really feel like Tasiki is not that girl's friend. Um so let's see what we got. They sit down before the sit down was um Biggie, Anamak, and Tasiki. They were sitting there talking about um I guess they wanted Biggie and um Anamak wanted to go and why did y'all want to be there? Like Anamak <sighs> Krishan want Krishan, Krishan needed that, like Krishan needed that, and you didn't want to give her that. And Sasiki was supposed to give it to you, but she thought you was fragile. She called you fragile to your face, and you want to go to the sit down. Don't make no sense, Biggie. Krishan don't like you. Like, why do y'all want to go? It don't make. And then it's like Biggie gonna sit there and pop them gums, and she's not really gonna be about it. Um, Anamak. All right, so we we get to the sit down. It was great to see like the baddie South cast in the same room together. It was so aesthetic, like Jayla and Krishan hugging and talking, and Jayla crying about um Krishan having a baby. Like it was just like, if you guys didn't watch South, it was very much like a coming together kind of moment because it was like, what like seeing you know Krishan, she was on South, she had a pass her in her mouth, and she was a lot more reckless on South than what she is now. Um, she was just, it was, like, a whole wholesome moment just seeing Jayla and Krishan interacting again, because they used to be, like, a duo, for those that didn't watch South. Like, they really used to duo, and they was tag and rolling together, and it was nice to, like, Rolly and Krishan have their interaction as well. It was nice seeing them all together. Um, uh, Krishan still throwing shade at Natalie, talking about something, is he married? I was like, girl, <laughs> real messy. Like, that was messy. Like, they, Krishan and Natalie don't like each other. You can, you, it's, it's real apparent, but they just work together for the bag. But to me, they never liked each other. They always shade each other every chance they get. And Krishan, she took the shade. She took a full shade up, and Natalie had no read back. Like, Krishan gagged Natalie. First episode, Natalie's gagged. I was like, well, <laughs> I didn't expect it from Krishan, but someone did it. Um, Like, the little transition scene they give us. I don't live in Oklahoma, but I'm like, why y'all keep switching from Tulsa to Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma City? Like, we know the difference between the two. Like, it's like, why y'all keep switching between the two? I was like, aren't y'all in Tulsa? Oklahoma City is... I was like, in any room, who's here? Um, Krishan comes in, new girl's intro. Okay, they, they showed the new girl's introduction where they're um, talking to Krishan about who the new girls are. Uh, we meet all of them or whatever. Um, Big Lex, she went to Shaw. I I see like that diploma that she had like in her like little slideshow presentation. She had like, a little diploma. I was like Shaw University, downtown Raleigh. Hold up, <laughs> you got another North Carolina girl in the house. If she's really from, I don't think she's from North Carolina. Though. I don't. Is she? I forgot what she said. She's from. Did she, I don't know. But I seen she went to Shaw, and I was like, okay, we got another North Carolina girlie in the house. Okay, it's time to wrap it up. Whoop, whoop. I'm stand by my NC girlies. I don't know if she's really from North Carolina, but I see she went to Shaw, and I think she could be because no one's going to Shaw if they're not from in-state. Like, Shaw's not that big of a school, so I was like, I'm going to wrap my NC girlies. Um, let's see, Krishan, this is the interaction conversation. Okay, so let's talk about, oh my god, I look like a super hype, and then we get to like this. So... Tasiki, Taseki, she walks in, and we have um, Krishan. Well, the the uh, the OGs they leave. So we have Krishan, Tasiki, and Natalie um, in this little room. Natalie, she starts the conversation as she leaves, and then I think we have um, what's that name? Uh, one of the sisters. Um, uh, it's over the C. Forgot it, but they come in or whatever. They're talking. Um, the conversation, I feel like we shouldn't have had this on Zeus. Um, or if we did, it should have had like, some type of like licensed trauma or family therapist in the middle seat instead of the sister. Like, it should have been Sasiki, some type of therapist, a licensed trained professional, not no therapist off Instagram, but a professional therapist, and uh, Krishan. And we shouldn't have the baby in there. Uh, I feel like they could have had the baby with the, uh, the other sister baby because there was another baby out there, but... You know, um, I feel like Krishan had Junior because she didn't want Tsiki to steal off on her. Um, Tsiki, it, the interaction was just real, real uncomfortable. It was just real weird and vague. And 
we got a bunch of nothing and it was just like you know Krishan um what she said like me, okay my me personally I'm like Krishan and she don't want to talk about like what happened to her at seven and people was like she's lying and she's not lying I don't know who's telling the truth I don't know who's lying but all I'm saying is like if someone went through something we shouldn't force them to talk about their trauma like I'm just like if Krishan she wants to talk about it I'm talking about like like the trauma aspect, like, like the the essay of it all. I'm like if Krishan if she went through that, you know, it's it's her story to tell it. If she don't want to tell it right then and there, then she doesn't have to because that's something that she went through. That's just my thought about. it. I'm like you know she don't have to talk about it, but I think Tzatziki was fishing for her to get it out of her. But I don't think that Krishan she don't necessarily have to talk about it. If that was her story, if that's your story, then you don't have to go into detail with us. But you know, I as Tay Tay was in the corner, it blurred out. It was like we're rolling over to episode two now. But Tay Tay was in the corner, she was blurred out, and she was talking about like, why would you bring it up on TV now? It's just it's just popping. So like Tay Tay saying that was like kind of say that it did happen, but then it's like you know why would you bring it up? That's what I got from it. But I don't know what happened. Um, everything is alleged, by the way. I'm just telling you guys what I saw. It's a television screen. I just don't know. Um, no, Krishan, and when she's talking about the whole jumping situation, Krishan, girl, you was lying. Like, Krishan, girl, you was lying time you did not get her jump. Girl, we saw you get her jump. We saw you on East get Tzatziki jumped. Like, that was the only thing I feel like Krishan was definitely lying about. I was like, the whole essay thing, I don't know what's going on here. This is her story. And I can't say she's lying about that or not, because I just don't know. And that's very serious to, like, throw your in opinions and introductions in. But the whole getting your sister jump thing... We could talk about that. And I'm like, girl, you got her jump. We saw you got her jump. And if you got her jump, don't know what Like, you know, stand in that paint. But at the same time, I'm like, Krishan's reasoning for getting her jumped could be like, you know, she was like cool with her from growing up to now, I guess. And she bought her in the show to fight. Um, well, she bought her in the show to smack well, Vicky and Onimak during East. But I'm like, if Krishan, if she had those feelings, Towards her, then she got. I, I don't know, like, Krishan, why'd you get her jump? Like, I, we, I, I kind of wanted to hear that. Like, why did you really want her jump? Because she didn't want to smack um, the girls you were mad at, or I don't know. And it's crazy, like, seeing that her and the girls, um, Jay and Marsh, aren't cool like that anymore. But that was a sit down conversation for me. I don't really have too much, like, too much to say about that. I'm just like, you know. Um, to uh, Tzatziki, she walks out, she's upset, she's crying, she's talking to her friends. Uh, well, she's talking to the other cast members, they're talking about it. And then we just, after that, we just roll into Detroit. Like, it was like, it was, it was like real quick. Like, there was no type of transition. We just, Detroit. Hi, welcome to Detroit. You know, I'm Natalie Nunn, da da da. And, let's see, I feel like Natalie did not want Caprice. Oh, so they walk into like this little, um, this little room or whatever. It was Natalie. Scotty, we're in episode two, you guys. It was Natalie and Scotty. They walk into this room, and um, Scotty had Caprice, the dog. And I feel like Natalie did not want that dog there. Because I remember on East, when they was fighting in that bathroom, you know what they was really fighting about? Not no food. But um, I feel like Natalie don't really like Scotty having a dog. And Scotty was like, she's bringing a dog with her this season. And I don't blame her. Um, if that's her emotional support animal. Because some girls, I, I, I feel like imagine being like in a setting like that and just being stressed out all the time. I would need to have some type of animal or something with me. So I don't blame Scotty. Um, and I feel like Natalie is upset that Scotty could sit and look pretty all season. Because, you know, flash, flash, you know, I just think that's Natalie's issue with her. Um, Diamond entered the scene and they had a little conversation. Um, Diamond's lisp got worse with Tsiki knocking out her tooth. I was like, oh my gosh, like... Dang, and then it shows like just a big gap, and she said to take it out there her whole tooth, and I was like, oh my gosh, like I feel I I feel bad for her, like I'm not gonna lie, like Diamond warrants the fight, like she bought the fight up on her, but I feel bad for Diamond because I was like, dang, like y'all are filming this immediately after the reunion, so Diamond divided her lip and stuff is still healing, and it was just a mess. Um, uh, let's see. Jayla, Roly, Tsuseki, Anamak, and Roly. Why I say Roly twice? 
so they have a conversation, whatever. So they're they're talking again. Um, they're in the room. Anna Mac is still popping about Krishan. I'm like, girl, you're you're popping about Krishan, but you won't say nothing to her face. Like you're you're popping it. Um, Roly, no, Sticky, she she talked no Jayla. She talks about um, it was nice seeing Krishan, and then Sticky was like, Jayla was like, oh, do you want to talk about it? And Sticky was like, oh. And she said her piece about it, and then um, she had emotional, and Anna started crying, and Roly started crying, and it was, um, you know, we don't really see Roly open up too much, so it was like, I guess nice to see like Roly talk about like, you know, when you're being like, um, what I said, I really like the scene, seeking Roly opening up. I can only imagine them taking care of everyone and going through the stuff on a bigger platform. So it's like they they're taking care of their families, and they're making all this money, and they're getting all this stardom. And they're like kind of like the head of their family now. Like they're bringing their people out of poverty, and they're going to all this on television as well. And I can only imagine what that's like. So I just had like a lot of sympathy for Roly because we really seen Roly come from like. Mm, let me take that back. It's like I have some sympathy for Roly because it's like we seen her come from nothing, but at the same time she belittles the girls that has nothing. Like. It's like she's crying about like taking care of everyone and stuff like that. But it's like you constantly clown, you constantly clown ET for being broke. You um you you try to throw shade at Tommy for having I think it like a better outfit or something like that. It was just like I uh, I almost had sympathy for you, girl. You almost had me. But it's like you 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 shade girls that have less than you. But we saw you come on Zeus on one more chance with barely anything and we saw the transformation to now with the body and stuff like that so it's just like almost had it almost had it i'm ready for this i'm ready to y'all yeah, ready to um, end this recap it's been a minute um we transformed to the dinner scene aka the mixer um they're there talking or whatever i feel like we could have had most of the scene cut out they're talking about a bunch of nothing um akbar walks in a bunch of the other girl walks in we seen them um we still haven't met the new girls yet. So, DTV versus Rolly. Um, Rolly comes in, and then Diamond Body comes in a little after. Rolly just runs right up on her. Um, the fight was very sloppy, very weak, very a mess. A mess. Sloppy. Lazy. It was bad. Like, Rolly was swimming. Diamond had her swimming a bit. You're backing up, and Rolly's just... And then, and then Rolly swings her head down. I'm like, ugh. Like, Rolly is not a heavy hitter to me, y'all. I'm sorry, but, like, Diamond low-key was... No, it's good stuff, though. But Diamond low-key had her. Like, Diamond, I think... I'm gonna call the fight a tie. I don't even know who won the fight, but I'm like, Diamond low-key. Let's low-key. 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 Um, so we get the next week's previews for the fights. And we're gonna pick up on Diamond Virtual next week. Ah, I'm gonna stuff y'all. But we get Onomac versus the new girls. Cause Onomac is, I think she's fighting Summer. I think her name was Summer. Cause I think Onomac and some one of the new girls had an issue because um, the girl slept Mariah. I think it was Summer. Was it her? I don't know who it was. But one of them, Onomac is fighting. Uh. Onomax was Onomax was getting in there. I give her that. She was getting in there. Um, Ivory parked someone in that seat. Ivory done parked somebody. You know, when we're seeing her party. She was beating a little girl up in that seat. I think the girl was uh, what's her name? Pretty P or something like that. I think that's what she was fighting. I'm not too sure. And I seen um Ivory. She was fighting someone in that grass. Um, I didn't know who she was fighting, but I know Ivory hits. She swings wild with that right. It's like that right first, always first for her. She swings so wild and reckless. So like, that's probably Ivory. Um, I don't know who she was fighting, and I am very, I'm very excited to meet these new girls. These new girls, we got according to the, you know, a minute and a half introduction slideshow clips. We got a lot of new girls, and I'm very excited to meet them. And they seem to be on it. They seem to be about it. They seem to be popping it. They seem to be want. They, they seem they they seem real hungry. So I'm very excited to meet them. I'm very excited to see when they bring. Um, you know, Bad Dolly, I'm excited to meet her. She's fighting Tzatziki, so. Always happy to meet a girl that's getting in the paint with the big dog that's not scared to fight the big dog that's not scared to fight the Hulk. I'm getting stuff up, y'all, so. I'm going to end this recap here. I'm starting to feel a mess, but. That was my recap for Baddies 
um, about to say Caribbean, Baddies in Midwest, episode one and episode two. So let me know what you guys like thoughts on all this is. Let me know what you guys thoughts on like the characters are. Um, Krishan Stasicki, I guess sit down and just your thoughts on everything in general. I think the season go. I think the season be really good. The to me the editing feels slow. Like the editing, it's like the editing. I, I don't know. Like it's, it, it just seems very slow. Like the Krishan Stasicki sit down was. Episode, from episode one, episode two, you put them together, the sit down was about a good 40, 30 minutes, and we got nothing. Like, I just feel like the editing is so slow, and it's just like, we're drag. It, this season's gonna drag. They're, they're gonna drag this season. They're gonna drag it. Like, the cabaret editing is a lot more picked up. Like, we're, we're going somewhere. The baddies, uh, Midwest editing, we're, we're, we're slowing it down. We're going to take our time, and it's like, Baddies East was a good season, but they edited Baddies East to where it was a bad season. Like Baddies East had all of the elements; it had everything there. It had we we had villains, we had bullying, we had we had pretty girls, we had funny girls, we had er, Baddies East had all of the ingredients for a good show, but I didn't keep the editing flopped it. We got we got someone got their sister jumped. We got trauma in the beginning. We had a lot that made good TV, and they flopped on it. And the season might be the same thing, I feel. But, yeah, so let me know what you guys think, and I'm out. <laughs>